Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Fallout Tactics Redux. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it's just to join me today as I continue to kill all the robots that appear in front of me. There was not one over here, but now he's dead. Uh, yeah, Steffi killed him from up there. Not before he killed her, but then we reloaded. If you missed last episode, we are attacking basically uh, a place filled with uh, power nodes or something. And basically we, we need to kill, we need to destroy them all. And uh, for that we need to destroy the robots that roam around. And up until now we've only been finding really the scurry bots, the humanoid bots, and also the security bots I think we found. And I think that's all. Oh no, we also found the hover bots, the, the ones that shoot rockets at us. But those didn't last too long. Actually, they kind of came from nowhere. In this road, actually. To the south, but, um, yeah. So, everything is going relatively well. Not perfect, mind you. Not perfect, but relatively well. Let's see what, what there is down there, Jax. Can you go down there and uh, try to see if there's a trap? How about this one? Seems to be clear. We have a little bit of a... A, a, a caravan over there? Is that a caravan? C can you please do that thing? Okay. Ooh! Ooh, a lot of stuff. A lot, a lot of stuff. Actual... Nah, don't, don't bother with it. I'm gonna get it later. Uh, but for right now, we're gonna continue and... Ooh, this was a dead end. This was a dead end! Oh, man. Yeah, we came up here for... Oh! <gasps> Look at that! We have one of these! I don't know. I don't remember if... I don't think they are an enemy in the game. Maybe they are. And I'm just forgetting, but... I don't remember. Anyway, let's go up here. I... I do remember this being heavily trapped. I, I never trust these doors. Can you go around? Thank you. Just open it. Does nothing. Okay. Open it. Let's go in. You alone. You first alone because of traps. And up here, what do we have? Nothing? Awesome. Okay. So in that case, let's move you all. We got a Nuka Cola truck. And we have some, apparently, what looks like a Nuka Cola plant, maybe. And this time around, the proper one. Not the small, pansy ass one like the one we found before. Uh, oh, there's enemies at the main road. Oh, these guys. Hoverbots. Okay. So you're gonna stay over there, and I'm gonna send Steffi in. We got a bunch of Coca Cola. Everything seems to be more or less peaceful around here, although I don't think that's gonna last too long. What is that? A terminal. It's gonna look scientific. Let's see what happens here. Look scientific. Yes. I told you. Told you it was gonna look scientific. Oh, Stitch, you leveled up? Awesome. Uh, so you are now, you can get the, let's see, bonus range damage would be good. What I really want might not be down here yet. Weapon handling is useless for right now. Uh, pack rat night vision, no. More criticals, eh, that's, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. Uh, he needs, what he needs though. He's got the sharpshooter already, okay, so bonus range damage would be good. Better criticals would be good as well. More criticals, bonus range damage. Mm, damage. Mm. Let's go bonus range damage. Uh, and let's bring his, bring his um, yeah, energy weapons up. Steffi. Okay, Steffi seems to be quite all right with this situation. Let's scientif science this Our up. Our company, Nuka Advantix, offers cutting edge technology for secure power nodes. Our nodes can handle a higher ampere rating that would fry competitor power nodes instantly. This, coupled with our magnetic-resistant bias inductors, will ensure that you will never have to deal with out-of-phase power leveling. But what makes our product revolutionary is our patented, worry-free, self-diagnostic and repair deco technology. These insect-sized doctors, if you will, immediately repair any node damage in under a minute. Our system comes with a six-month warranty and six Mr. Handy keychains. For 24-hour assistance, should you require it, our number is... Hmm. Nuka Advantex. That was a cool thing. I don't remember he hearing that before. Okay, so don't shoot that. Don't shoot that. No. Let Earl do the thing here. He's gonna do that. Okay, so there's nothing around, which is really, really weird, because there should be. There's a... Okay, Earl, can you do that? Thank you very much. Reload, and let's go. Okay, there should be. How do I get over there? Okay, I just go. There's a door. There's gonna be scurry bots. Or worse. The scurry bots are not really that big of a problem. Nothing back here. Man, this place is deserted. Okay, so that's what I, what, what I was looking for. Because that's gonna allow us to go down the tunnels and uh, 
That's gonna allow us also to travel. Actually, kill the kill the guy that's down there and travel. Oh crap. Okay. Um, Steffi, can you go back up? I think you can. Let's have you guys go over there. You as well, Earl. And where are you, Stitch? Why are you back there? Didn't I order you? Okay, so now you go back. No. Stitch, what are you doing? He's, 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 he's refusing to move. Damn you. Okay. So, Steffi, go back up, please. Go back up. Go back up. Okay, good. We're safe. Oh, we're safe. Okay. Save the game. No, not save the game. Just move over there. Can you please not get bugged? Kill that guy then. Okay. Now, let me worry about your co company. Your company? Your co 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 workers? I don't know. Your companions. Yes. Co co. Your brothers. So we're a brotherhood. Yeah, we're brothers. That's that's the one. I always I always fail to really know what to call these guys. Like the Battle Brothers, I fa fail to call them Battle Brothers or stuff like that. I don't know. Yeah. So they're all brothers and sisters, I guess. Only two sisters, but still. All down there. Let's move you guys out of the way a little bit. Move you out of the way as well. And Jack's out of the way because otherwise the guys upstairs are not going to want to come down here. And we are going to have a big, big robot around the corner. So what I think I should do is I should ch set up everyone to uh, to shoot on the robot. Shoot at the robot, I guess. And the only guy that's not going to be able to do a significant amount of damage is going to be Muzo. So he's going to be the bait here. And hopefully not going to get gonna get shot by his brothers. Hey, man. What's up? Yep. Yep. Oh, I missed that one. Or at least it looked like. Yeah, no damage. Okay. I I'm leaving now. Can you please not? Can you please? No. Okay. Stay to the side. Stand to the side. See what kind of damage I'm... Oh, sir. You are crippled and dead. Hmm. Okay. Well, good. That was good. It's a good strategy, I think. If I do say so myself. Uh, we have... Ooh, what is that? We have nice looking doors. We have what looks like some sort of medical bay or something. These look like they are automatic. Never trust an automatic door. Open it. Please don't be trapped. It's locked. I have just what this sticks. I have an electronic lockpick over here. Open it. And it's not gonna work. It's gonna look difficult. No, it's unlocked. Surprise, surprise. Huh. Okay. Save the game. Let's see what ha what we have in here. Oh, crap. Death. Death. Just... Death. I have a fix for that. It's a little bit of a crazy one, but I have a fix for that. You might know what it is, actually. Let's just see if I open this thing. Please don't lock it. Please don't lock it. Seriously. Because sometimes when you lock it, you, you you can be unlucky and lock it with a very nice roll, and then it's going to be difficult to, to unlock it again. So, yeah. That's not necessarily the, the way I want to do this. So now, the way I want to do this is to use the pulse grenades that I have around here. And I just want to use one. So I'm going to press enter. Uh, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to open the door. That guy's going to overwatch me. There we go. And now I'm going to kill him. Oh. How much time was with that again? 136. Oh, you need a critical, maybe. Please don't die. Okay. Well, it's going to die now. Yeah. Okay, so how should I do this? I could I, I could scum it a little bit, I guess. No, the, the rocket just hits him no matter what I do, so I guess just keep throwing things. Yeah. How do I do this? I mean it 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 could be that I can... The, the range. But the rockets might have good range. Hmm. No, you're going to stay away. Steffi, can you can you shoot that from there? I don't think you can, but... So, I'm going to do this. I'm going to open this and move to the side immediately. Like so. That thing's going to shoot at... Oh, my God! The range on that thing is enormous! What? Okay, move away. Move away. You as well. You, you're you not doing anything over there. Just move back here. Okay. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to send Steffi in sneaking. And then basically I'm going to look for a safe place to snipe that thing. Hopefully I will be able to. I should be able to. Um, so let's just open that. Don't fire upon anything, you dumbass. No. No. Don't you run away. Good. Okay. So. Uh, what's the range on this? 53. Seems good enough. Just knock yourself out. Knock him out, actually. That would be a good thing. 
Oh, he doesn't know what to do. Yeah, that's the problem with not having legs. If you had legs, maybe, or wheels, I guess, or or maybe the, the so those hover things that some, yeah, th that your brothers have, but you don't have any of that. You have deadly, deadly weapons that look like machine guns and sound like machine guns, but are actually rocket launchers. So, you can't get any ba more badass than that, actually. Something that sounds like a machine gun, but it's a rocket launcher. Yeah. That's some. That's good. That's the key to win anything. That's just amazing. I approve of that very much. So that guy's dead. Then that's what you get. Let's move you in. See if you can sneak. You can. Let's see if there are any, sc any scary, scary, scary robots around here. No, mm, doesn't look like that is the case. So let's send Muzo in to loot that turret. You're not gonna loot that turret. You're gonna go upstairs. See what this is. Oh. Hmm. A scary looking facility. That's what this is. Okay, let's go down. Not that I'm scared, mind you. It's just that uh, we can attack it from outside. Do I want these rockets? There's so many of them. I don't need the rockets. No, Colonel, don't bring all that crap. They're so, so pointless. It is. It very much is. It, 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 it is. Okay, Earl, since you're not gonna use that, because those guys are too. <laughs> That's not what I want. Those guys are too strong for you, so it's too strong, and you're not going to be able to use that against them because you die repeatedly. We're going to go this way because we know this way we haven't been to yet, although maybe we have. And we, I... Hello, little guy. What's up? What do you say? I don't hear you too well. Oh, clank, clank. Tri typical. Uh, 95. Why is... Oh, because she's too close. Farsight doesn't... Can't really shoot too well because she's too close. Let's see. Jax should have 95 as well. That was good. And uh, and now a kill. Okay. And she was sneaking as well. Okay. Perfect. Can you sneak? You can. Perfect. Okay. Continue. Actually, wait for it. your action points. Oh, knocked out. Flawless. Awesome. Just exactly what I want. I think that was the first shot as well. Just down, and he's dead. Knocked out, actually. So let's see. See if this has any traps. After that, just open it. Probably gonna be locked or something. Not by the looks of things. Okay, seems safe. Send Steffi upstairs. A ladder. This might be. That ladder looks weird to me. Yeah, it just it's not looking weird anymore. Where is the? Oh. I didn't come here. Huh. Yeah, but maybe I should have. There's nothing, but still. The scary bots are not going to attack me if they don't attack me, I don't think. So let's just go down there and uh, let's try and strike the uh, this big scary building, I guess. Let's go to the big scary building and try not to be too scared. I'm not scared. I mean, with a, if I was playing... I'm not scared. Even if I was playing on, a, uh, on, tough, ooh, on tough guy mode. Yeah, I know what that is. Uh, I wouldn't be scared either. It's It can be tough. It can be really challenging. But, uh, yeah, well, it's, it's still it's still manageable, I guess, if we keep our distance. I mean, really, in a situation like this, I should have been more careful with what I did. I really, really should have. But I wasn't. I wouldn't. So I killed. I died, I, I say. I died. Okay, so here I'm not going to be too careful, but I should be okay to open this door. It's locked. Let's send Jax in. Steph, you're going to open the outside door that shouldn't be locked. And you're going to scout out the perimeter. Okay, she she's seeing enemies. Please don't let them see me. Let's open this door. There we go. Get out of the way. Okay, get that on. Can you shoot? Oh, it's a turret. Okay, actually, that's not too bad because I can snipe it from afar with a, precisely the characters that I have here. Okay, let's just look around. Seems reasonably quiet. This leads upstairs. Probably is open. We have somebody over there that I saw. It's locked. Okay, let's send Jax outside. No, actually, that's a bad idea. It's a bad idea. Uh, so what do I want to do? Do I want to attract people? Maybe I do. Let's bring you guys upstairs. And you're going to be ready, it, just in case. Okay. So being here is going to be good for you. Okay, so you stop. And you're going to snipe that thing. 95%. Are you going to be all right? Well, let's minimize the chances that we get attacked. Nope, she's not. I'm gonna f fall back a little bit. That was a miss. 
That pitiful, pathetic miss. He's still gonna fire on me. Did I miss that one? No, I didn't. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I did, I don't know. Okay, so she took a little bit of damage. I don't know how much, but that wasn't too much. It wasn't too bad. Probably like 20 or something. Uh, let's look around. We have some sort of uh, main entrance over there. We have some sort of descent over here. And this seems to be... Could be the last. It is the last. It's the fifth and the sixth um, area. So there's going to be robots over there. They're not attacking right now. I didn't, they're not coming back here because they're dumbasses. Uh, but there's going to be robots in here. Uh, for Yeah, so we're going to need to take care of them. Now, how am I looking on this ammo? Because it's, it's doing relatively well. I mean, a rocket launcher here would be better to shoot at that thing. But then again, it's it's such big amount of damage that I take that it's yeah a little problematic to do anything but snipe it up from afar. So yeah, let's. Uh, I think we're good. Let's bring Jax around, and he's gonna open that thing with this thing. Just open it. There we go. Oh, failed! Come on, seriously. Open it. Open it. Unlocked. Okay, perfect. Now you equip that. You go back inside. Go back to your room. Okay. And I'm gonna go around. Can I sneak? I cannot remove that. Can you sneak? You cannot. Okay. That is a shame. That is a real shame, actually, because... Uh, who is detecting me? Okay, there's somebody over there, but I don't know how they are seeing us in the first place. Okay, so from here we can't sneak. I wouldn't guess we could. And it's a, uh, yeah, it's one of the security bots. Okay, so they see me through something. Okay, we're outside of combat. Still, can still be detected. If I can find the sweet spot to see that guy. I could even shoot him from back here. I don't think that's going to be our plan, though. Our plan is going to be to secure this this place from the interior. And then we're going to take them out on the outside from the outside. Because it's just a little bit more... Visibility. Now, I'm not being careful here, and maybe I should. Why is this thing surrounded by green goo? What kind of machine is this that it requires green goo to operate? Oh no. We have a tank bot. We have uh, not the worst enemy in the game. Certainly not the worst enemy in the game, but one of the biggest ones. And he's taking quite a bit of damage as well. Let's cripple the poor guy. Okay, just take a shot. Now, did I miss that 95? I missed that 95, didn't I? Okay, he's down to, I think, two-thirds of his health. He's gonna be pretty fast, because these guys are pretty fast, so... Let's see what he decides to do. He's gonna close up on us, and he shouldn't be able to attack us next turn, so I think... If everything goes well, we should be able to kill him without much... Fala, fa, fala, fa, fa, fa. Which is uh, synonymous to... Problems. Because, yeah, when you have fala, fa, 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 that's, that's bad. It's better for you. Okay, so take a shot there, take a shot there, shot, shot, and I should be pressing tab, but whatever. Man, I'm missing my 95s? Seriously? And you, that's fa 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 Nope. That's not gonna go too well. That that thing is AoE, by the way. The thing that it has, it's AoE, so if, it, if this doesn't work, we're toast. But it will work, don't worry. It would require a vast amount of unluck. 77. Like that. Unluck right there. I wonder why she got so fast. Is she the first one? She's not the first one. Why is she? I don't know what's up with her. Okay, take a shot. That's not dealing any damage. Absolutely zero damage. Steffi, what can you do? 42. Let's save scum this thing. Because you've been missing too many 95s. And that's a kill. With one shot to spare. Okay, that guy is very angry at us. Apparently this guy was this this robot what is was his mom or something, I don't know. He's really very angry. You can hear him moving. I think. Okay. Although by the looks of things he's not coming this way. Stitch! No. Earl. Oh he is. He might be. He seems to have Does he have a rocket launcher? What does he have? This thing is not automatic, so just manual. Manual it. Shoot that guy. Oh, crap! Oh, these guys. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, I'm gonna need to reload there. Stitch is gonna need to fix her. That's fine. Oh, no. Enter, enter! Okay. Steffi, you need to finish this thing. Thank you. Now, Stitch, can you finish that thing? 
Man. I think we're safe. Don't actually know who got shot with that one, but I think we're safe. So let's just have... Damage 6 HP. Yeah, that's not what I pay you for. I actually don't pay you stitch, so yeah, I guess. I guess you're you're okay. You're okay at the, in that. Just fix her arm. Come on. There we go. And heal her up as well. Okay, so you're good to go. Let's double click this. That guy's running away. He's out of combat. Let's shoot him. Okay, I don't know what he has. He does. He's not equipped. He doesn't have weapons. The poor guy doesn't even have a fist. Did I break him so much? He's compensating apparently. I don't know what he was trying to compensate for. I just shot him in the face. But he's dead. Well, that's, that's I shouldn't be surprised. That's a good thing. What did he have? Why didn't he attack me? Oh. He might have I don't know. I don't know what that was. Did he have a flamer? These guys used to have flamers. I'm pretty sure of that, but I might be mistaken. We gotta level up over here. Okay, awesome. Now, you are gonna get... Uh, let's see. Better criticals would be nice, because you got more criticals. More criticals would be nice. You have two, ra ra uh, two uh, ranks, I guess. More criticals, two ranks. Uh, you don't have better criticals, though. But that's not the end of the world. You could get the sharpshooter, but that's kind of pointless. You could get... Tag doesn't work. I don't think it works anymore on that. I Yeah. Silent running... Road Warrior? No, that's not it. I don't want that. Uh, let's see. Back Rat, Mutate, more Criticals. I guess I'm gonna go for better Criticals, maybe? Hmm. Let's see. Let's just explore. Comprehension. It's a good thing that the patch added stuff like Leader. I I think I have Leader. Lad Food, Life Giver, Leader, Loner. Like, the patch added notes to, to broken uh, perks that don't work on... on teammates or there there's a perk I don't remember which one but there's a perk that doesn't even work on anybody it's just here for it can't be fixed it's just weird uh, but I think I'm gonna go with better criticals here mm, let's go with that although action boy would be uh, nice as well but it just I don't think I'm gonna get as much use out of that one as I should so let's use that one oh you leveled up as well okay so you have let's see you have 10 action points as well. Yeah, because I brought up your agility. That's good. So now you have more criticals. I could get more criticals. More criticals for her would be good. And I think that's going to be exactly what I'm going to go for. Uh, also, some... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so you need... What do you need? Earl doesn't really need anything. Or doesn't need uh, doesn't need more action points. He's pretty good at that already. Bonus range damage would be good. What's your critical chance? 12. It's pretty decent. Bonus rage damage, let's go with that one. Uh, and you, oh yeah, I also need... What do I need for you, man? You're so good at everything, it's like... Let's bring you that one up. There we go. Uh, yeah, yeah, everything is good. Although, maybe for him, better, cri more criticals would have been better. Eh, I don't know if that was a good choice. Anyway, let's open this door and see what is on the other side and what is... Oh, we got a pacifier bot. That is what it, that is. We have seen them before. We have seen them dead or dying. But that is a pacifier bot. And that thing unleashes... I think it is. If it is a, be a behemoth. If it is a behemoth, we're toast. <laughs> Pacification, not a pacifier. That's still pretty bad. Let's take that. I don't understand fully how I'm going to do this. But I think a grenade. I think grenades here are gonna be the key. Uh, let's see if I can do that. And Earl, you're gonna get the plasma grenade. You should be okay for that, but who knows? Okay, Stitch managed not to hurt uh, Steffi. He's very, he's very pissed at her for some reason. Uh, and I'm gonna do this. Enter here. Move Jax back here. Into the line of sight of that guy. Hopefully, like so. Take a shot. Activate his overwatch. He's got a biological pacifier. That's what he has. Now move in. Into line of sight. Take a grenade. How much damage was that? 117. Pretty decent. And that one? 163. Pretty good as well. Move you outside of line, line of sight. And now Jax gets out. And we're good. Okay, Jax just recovers. I think actually I could finish him. Oh, he's not. He's not, yeah. It's too far away. It's it's too. 
Yeah, he still has too much health. Let's move you into the line of sight. You're poisoned. That's fine. 557. That's a lot of health that guy has. Okay, now I should be able to kill him nonetheless. Mm. Okay. Almost destroyed. What's his health right now? Oh, he can die. He can die. He can die. Come on, die. Come on. He didn't die. Okay, so... Earl is gonna be shot, and that is not ideal. So what I'll do is I'll send Steffi in. And she's gonna save the day, hopefully, with one! One hit point! And of course, all that would be awesome if he, she just missed that 95% shot. That'll be just the best ever. I'm gonna let that poison go away. Uh, let's see. Earl, you're gonna need that. Stitch, you're gonna need... Actually, you can fix yourself up, because you have... First aid skills for you. Just take care of yourself. Who's bandaged? Nobody's bandaged. Okay, nobody's bandaged. You're poisoned, though. Didn't I take... I took poison, but he's still taking poison damage. Farsight, come on in here. Come on. Yeah. I, that might, might, might be a very powerful poison or something. Take that, man. There we go. Okay. So we're going through our poison vials, anti-poison vials, rather. But it's all good. That guy, what did he have, though? Has a weapon. I don't think I can... Maybe the needles... Oh. Steffi still has poison? Okay, so she still has poison. I need to take care of that. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. Some pretty powerful poison, right? She's still poisoned. I don't have that many. Okay, cured. Man, didn't notice. I didn't notice that she only said, uh, looks better. Oh, man, this guy only has this. All that trouble for 50 small energy cells. Let's see if we can find somebody over here. Because if not, we're going back in. Yeah, we're going back in. There's no point coming here. That that would be a terrible battle if I didn't have that. Actually, he would move in here. If we came from over there, that would be our death right there. The only thing that saved us here was just having discovered, and he couldn't come, come here of his own volition or of, of his own... Or w w in, on his own legs. I mean, he, he wanted to come here, but he, he actually didn't, couldn't. So, there's going to be a guy in here. Actually, more than a guy. You got to shoot him. And move away. It's not bad. Bring Steffi. See if I can have line of sight. I can. Take Ouch. Ouch. Take a few shots. And move to the side. Yeah, don't be there. Okay, okay. Hmm, it's gonna be a little bit problematic. That's gonna be a little bit problematic. Okay, so she's bandaged. I should probably just equip her with this. Give that to Stitch. He can carry that. There we go. Now that, that's the correct strategy. Sir, you need to die now. Hello. Can you die now? Can you please not kill me? Do I need to activate turn-based mode for you not... What?! Come on, you and your criticals? Uh, anyway, we're out of time. I'm going to kill these guys off camera because it's going to be the same old, same old of me just uh, trying to snipe them from afar. And we're going to continue exploring and destroy this power node on the next episode. For now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Fallout Tactics Redux. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video, but above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.